Hello everyone. Here on our planet we came to discover a wide group of microorganisms which are capable of surviving and thriving under harsh conditions for us humans. These organisms are known as extremophiles and are able to handle intense levels of radiation, pH, or even water scarcity. The project I was part of during the YSP takes advantage of the different pigmentation of these organisms. We worked on the development of a model, known as Primo, capable of identifying patterns in reflectance data of extremophiles and estimating their similarity with reflectance readings of exoplanet analogous locations, which we find here on Earth under uh, hostile environments. In order to do so, Primo uses a semi-supervised learning system, which relies on a data bank of experimentally collected spectra of Earth-based organisms. This is a representation we produced of how our data bank should be organized by taking three different organisms for exemplification, each represented in a different color circle. Each organism is associated to its respective reflectance measurement at a particular wavelength. As new and labeled remote sensing readings are introduced to Primo, it tries to identify patterns and label the new data according to the information on our data bank. It is able to apply multivariable statistical methods for spectral analysis and determine how similar the identified, the identified patterns in the recent data sets are to the already labeled measurements in the data bank. Primo is certainly a tool of extreme astrobiological interest. As the number of known exoplanets rapidly increases, the quest for life outside of our planet gets more and more exciting. While many of these worlds may, be, may be too hostile for Earth's extremophiles, Others may sustain a biosphere with many similarities to the ones we find here on Earth under extreme conditions.